A Syrian refugee is taking the Ministry of Transportation Ontario to the Human Rights Tribunal for making him follow the rules. I'm not even fucking kidding. For those who may be unaware, the Ministry of Transportation is basically the DMV. It's where you would go to do your licensing to drive. Ahmad al-Rasul drove transport trucks in Syria and wants to drive trucks here. He's already been fast-tracked. Uh, in Ontario, we have a graduated licensing system that requires a few tests and waiting periods in between to allow time for practice driving. He's already been fast-tracked from the entry-level license to the intermediate license. But he has to wait the 12 months to get the full, what's called a G-Class license, a standard license, before he can start doing the testing for transport truck licenses. Because he can't get the proper documentation. There, there is an exemption for foreign train drivers, but you have to have all the paperwork. Being from Syria and with no functional diplomatic mission from Syria in Canada, he can't get the required paperwork. So he has to sit through the waiting period, just like everybody else. My first question, my stupid Canadian question was, well, in the four years between leaving Syria in 2012 and coming to Canada in 2016, he lived and worked in Jordan, uh, Lebanon, and Saudi Arabia as a driver. Shouldn't some of that driver's licensing count as the correct documentation? That was my fucking question. The guy was living and working elsewhere. And then, four years later, comes to Canada as a refugee. And Canada rolls out the red carpet. Welcome. Glad to have you. Here are the rules. But those rules are discrimination. Only in the People's Republic of fucking Canada. The argument is that the policy of the Ministry of Transportation discriminates against refugees because they can't get the documentation. It's like, do you have the documentation? No. That's fine. You can still be licensed. We have to do it this way, though. That's discrimin- how is that discrimination? It's a set of rules that everybody must follow. Only in the People's Republic of Canada can you argue that a set of rules that applies to everyone equally discriminates against somebody. And only in the People's Republic of Canada is there a specialized court system called a human rights tribunal that will be bothered to hear that argument. Yeah, this is... This really... This really got my goat. Uh... Abdel Al-Dbel said he too wanted to work as a driver to supplement his income from government assistance. You want to get the driving job and stay on the government assistance? Are you fucking kidding me? That's your goal? Uh, 
Oh, and I love I love this. Uh, we are not asking the MTO to just hand them the G license. All we are asking is for experienced refugee drivers. The MTO waived the one-year requirement between G2 and full G testing, so these drivers can continue their testing right away. How do we know they're experienced without the proper documentation? Because they just say it? That's literally not enough. You have to have the documentation. What the fuck is wrong with you? This is my country now. This is where I live. You can live and work in three different countries since you leave the war-torn one and still come here as a refugee. Demand to not have the rules apply to you so you can get a good paying job while staying on the government assistance while somebody who was born here could be unable to find a job for five years and still find themselves ineligible for government assistance. I live here. Relevant links to shit I said in the description? Maybe. I'm Irving Twin. Like, subscribe, or don't. It's a free country. At least it used to be.